Welcome to our Beginner's Guide to Cell Counting. This procedure includes techniques and affordable, easy-to-use materials ideal for those looking to learn cell counting. To begin cell counting, you will need the following. A hemistometer, microscope, handheld counter, 15 milliliter conical tubes, citrate methylene blue or alkaline methylene violet stain, lint-free wipes, disposable transfer pipette, and a 10 milliliter pump pipette. First, we need to dilute the concentrated yeast slurry down to a 1 to 100 dilution. Begin by homogenizing your samples and then transferring 1 milliliter of yeast slurry into 9 milliliters of water. This will create a 1 to 10 dilution. Then transfer 1 milliliter of the diluted sample into an additional 9 milliliters of water to complete the 1 to 100 dilution. Note, if pulling a sample of beer from the fermenter, there is no need to perform this dilution. Now transfer one milliliter of your diluted sample into a new conical tube. Transfer one milliliter of your stain into the same tube, creating a 1 to 200 dilution. Pipette approximately 10 microliters of your sample into the center of the counting area on your hemistotometer. Gently lay a cover slip over the sample without creating any air bubbles. If you're unable to measure 10 microliters, place a drop smaller than a pea. Place a hemistometer on the microscope stage and focus on the 10x objective. A 5x5 five five grid should now be in view with the yeast cells spread out evenly. Once focused, move on to the 40x objective. At 40x, focus on a single square of the 5x5 five five grid and you will now be able to count the individual cells. You will perform counts on 5 of the 25 squares using a handheld counter. We recommend the four corners and the middle square. These squares will appear to be a four by four grid. Count cells on two of the boundary lines and keep the position of these lines consistent throughout your cell count. Cells that appear stained are dead cells. Be sure not to count the stained cells or budding cells that appear to be dead. If a budding cell is over 50% of the size of its mother, count this as a separate and living cell. Record the total cell count and total number of dead cells. Move on to the next 4x4 four four square until all 5 are completed. Last, we need to perform a quick calculation to come up with our total cell concentration. Add the amount of cells calculated in each square together and multiply by 5. This number represents the cell count of the entire 5x5 five five grid. Multiply this number by your dilution factor, which is 200 since we created a 1 to 200 dilution sample. The last number being multiplied in the equation, 1 to 10 to the 4th, or 10,000, is consistent and represents the volume of the hemistometer chamber. The result will be in hundreds of millions or billions of cells per milliliter.